Hi, Sam H. Friends. I am Ramona Williams, the Alexander Specialist at the Children's Museum, Houston. Thank you for joining me today for this edition of the Early Childhood Corner, sponsored by Catherine G. McGovern and the McGovern Foundation. So, we're going to look around your home today to find some items that we can turn into fun learning activities for your toddler. I want you to be sure to stay with me for the entirety of this video because I will give you some more tips to extend the learning, wonder words to explore with your little one, as well as a book to read in the end. The supplies for this color matching activity are super simple. You need a piece of cardboard. I think it's easier to use like an empty cereal box, the inside of it, and just cut it out, the largest part of it. But if you want, you can use cardboard. Also, clothespins, you will need six, depending on how big your box is. So let's say it's a lot, maybe double this, you could use 12. So up to you. And then you will need six different color markers. So let's begin. I am going to take my first color and I will simply draw a pattern. The idea is just to use the edge of your cardboard because that's where your toddler will clip the clothespins to match the color. So I could do one or two things. I can draw something. You can draw circles that just kind of um, extend to the end of the cardboard or if you wanted to you can color it in. For this activity today I'm going to just do an outline and I'm gonna have my toddler color it in. Okay so I have blue, I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna do two on this side. I will outline the purple, I think I will do yellow next and then you just go around the entire board just like this. I'm going to do yellow. Now guess what? If I happen to run out of space, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do five instead of six. But either way, it works. So I have just finished doing my outlines and I went ahead and colored in each of the colors. So let me give this tip. You can use a dark color cardboard, or if you have something, use the lighter color. So I know I was able to find a white color piece of cardboard, and it helps the colors to be a lot more pronounced when you do that. Okay, so we're gonna set this to the side, and we're going to bring in our clothespins, and we're gonna use the same colors on our clothespins as we did on our cardboard, because this is where the matching comes in. So you will take your marker and I would let my little one do this. I mean because there is no getting this wrong and I'm sure they would love coloring it. You can color not just one side but both sides. So I'm going to do one side and then color the other. Now what I would say to do as well is put something down so that there are not um, markings on your table or any other surface that you might not want marker on. And the other thing, of course, we always use um, washable markers. So here's one. See, it's colored on both sides. That is my blue. And I'm going to do the same thing with all of my clothespins. And while I maybe am coloring along with my toddler, we can talk about what is your favorite color? Why is it your favorite color? What does it remind you of? Even how does that color make you feel? Because we know like yellow, for instance, can make us feel really happy because it's a cheery and it's a bright color. And you will just continue to do this until you have colored all of your clothespins. So before we give the activity to our toddler, I think something that is really good to do is to also spell out the color over the color that is written. So it's purple, I'm gonna write purple. And I'm gonna go all the way around and do this for the colors that are represented. We have orange, brown, pink and of course while you're doing this what are we doing having conversations with our little ones about the colors and lastly blue 
So here you have it. So this is our little color matching board. So now, before we allow our toddler to start interacting, I would first talk about the colors that you have on the board as well as the colors that are on the clothespin. So identify the colors. We have orange, purple, yellow, pink, brown, and blue. And then do the same thing for the board. We have orange, brown, pink, blue, and purple. Have them name them with you. If they can't name them at the same time, you can say the color and have them repeat after you. And then the next thing would be to give them the clothespin and have them match. If you wanted to, depending on the age of your toddler, you could actually place the clothespin on the side in which the color is represented. Okay, so if they're younger, it will be easier for them to identify and they could quickly match it. Or you can scramble the colors up and have them pick up out the color and match it to the board. And the ob object of this activity is simple. Once they identify the color, then they match it to the board. And this is our color matching activity. And you could also add in the colors, you could do the alphabets. That is something that you can add, or you can add different shapes, and you can add those shapes to the clothespin as well. And kids would enjoy this for a long time to come. So here are some tips. Be specific when you are describing colors with your little one. Kids learn by having conversations about the world that's around them. And another thing that you can do is actually do a scavenger hunt at home and take your board with you, your activity color matching board, and go around your home and see if you can identify colors that match. And once you find a color that matches, you take your clothespin off of your board and put it on that item and go all the way around the house until you found all the colors that are on the board. And for our wonder words, we have all the colors that we have used during our activity today. Orange, brown, pink, blue, purple, and yellow. And finally, for our book, Bear Sees Colors by Karma Wilson. So that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. I want you to be sure to stay connected with us through the museum's all time access. And also, if you're watching this via YouTube, how about you click the like or subscribe button. I am Ramona Williams and I look forward to seeing you next time at the museum during a fun activity.